Hi, we are Lucas and Falco. What's good, everybody? It is your favorite poet, Brandon Leak. Hey guys, my name is Eric Chen. It's me, uh, Josh Blue. What's up, it's Flage from AGT season 13, and now I'm here on All Star. Well, we went off to Vegas and did the best show on the strip, AGT Las Vegas Live. I uh, had another kid, so I'm now a father of two lovely babies. Did a Emmy-winning performance with the Golden State Warriors for their championship run. Released two albums of spoken word poetry that have been considered for Grammys. Had a televised spoken word poetry special. And now, I've currently adopted 12 schools in my city in which we're publishing over 5,000 youth. So, yeah, not much. We did a lot of shows uh, through Europe and Falco had a great time on different stages and also started to um, bring his younger brothers and started doing some tricks with them. And Falco is still at our side every time um, and enjoyed our time traveling together. Since I was on AGT, I've been touring the world, selling out shows everywhere I go and just doing what I love and that's stand-up comedy. Uh, AGT season 14 was my first time performing in America and so I was really nervous that you know I don't know I'm not, I'm not sure if Americans will like my performance style right after AGT I was actually invited to perform on Broadway which was amazing you know I was there for two months I had over a hundred something shows on Broadway and it changed my life completely uh, I got the key to the city of Savannah I also got my own day in the city of Savannah I've been a spokesperson for Bring the Love Back America campaign, which is um, help prevent violence in the youth. Put out two EPs, they out now, everywhere. I can go get that. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Oh, I'm a certified hooper. Number six in the nation as a guard. I got my jersey retired, and now I'm playing for LSU as a freshman. Oh, man. I see so much hunger, um, so much, so much drive and focus. This little girl right here, she was so young and just naive and just so happy to be like on the stage. Like, she, oh my God, ew, this is me. <laughs> she was so young though, she was just ready to see the world, I know why. When I showed up to AGT, I didn't even think that I would actually make the show to then get the golden buzzer um, was an even more beautiful step forward in the journey. And it felt vindicating, because as an art form, spoken word oftentimes gets looked at as like the, you know, redheaded stepchild of the arts industry. So confident, so excited, just ready to be a star. Wow, that's crazy. I just look so different, I look like a baby. This is insane, this is crazy. <laughs> I used to eat like Skittles and a bunch of junk food before I would hop on stage. Um, <laughs> but in all seriousness, if I were to really go back in time right before this moment, I might give him a hug and tell him it's okay to be proud of yourself. I would tell her like, don't worry about anything. You know, everything's gonna take care of itself. Don't be nervous, don't be scared. Like, you got this. The most critical part of being a magician is their imagination, because we constantly have to think of something that's unexpected, something that's very magical, something that's not from this world. Having a good imagination really helps create good magic. So sometimes I have something on my mind and have a routine and uh... Um, want to do some tricks and Faiko wants to do the tricks in another direction or do it in another order and then he really uh, stays with his opinion. You never know what you will get on stage and uh, that everything can happen and that's always fun because you have to be prepared for everything. I always pride myself in just being ready to perform so I actually just like hanging out with people, laughing, having fun, and to me that's what gets me going is just the connection with people and then I go out and do it on a bigger scale. You know, when I'm about to perform, I just have to be all the way prepared. You know, I have to be there before I get there. You know, like that's what I do in basketball too. Like, I'm there before I'm there, so I'm already prepared. And when my feet get there, that's where I'm at. 
it's nothing that I could do before a performance in that moment to get me ready. It's just like I'm already there. I've been there since last week. You know what I mean? Like, since I got the call to be on ADT, I was there. For sure. So before we go on stage, our routine is like go out for a walk for half an hour, um, then sitting in the shadow a little bit and play with his favorite toys, and then get his freaks ready, and then we're ready to go on stage. I just sit there and try to listen to uh, meditation, meditation music and just calm myself down. But then the moment I take off my earphones, I become nervous again, <laughs> so it doesn't really help. <laughs> I just kind of take a quiet moment to myself away from everybody else and I just I just sit back and I reflect on what's the worst that can happen but also what's the best what's the best result that you can get from this beat and let's go get it if I'm not smiling while I'm performing I feel like I'm doing it wrong like if I'm not feeling it like so without having fun like all of it should be for nothing, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you be nervous or whatever, but you get out there and you feel the lights and you feel the energy and you having fun, you can't go wrong with that. I mean, you made it this far in this competition, you hopefully know your craft, so just do what you're made to do, you know? I'm, I'm here to perform stand-up, I know I'm a good stand-up, so I just do what I do every night and perform. It's, to me, it's no different than any other show, really. Pressure either busts pipes or makes diamonds. And I equate pressure to the same thing as fear, because you feel pressure and fear usually in the same spaces. And the only reason you feel pressure, only reason you feel fear, is because you care. Like, if you don't care, then it don't matter. Thanks for watching. I thank you all so much for the love and support on my AGT journey. And make sure you go online and watch my performance on AGT All-Stars.